Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. Let's just dive in and uh, let's start off with coin market cap. So obviously today is a very big day uh, for crypto as we do have the monthly and the weekly candle close all in one day. Um, and honestly, as we do really kind of look at what's happening around this market, currently we are seeing Bitcoin slightly turning green as well as Ethereum, but uh, for the most part, volume has been pretty pitiful. Uh, most of the volume right now is in meme coins as we do see meme season, if you will, uh, beginning. So. Right now, I am watching a lot of the volume oscillators as well as seeing where a lot of individuals are, um, you know, moving their funds. So far, we really haven't seen Bitcoin gain a lot of momentum currently. Uh, we also have been watching XRP. XRP still looks pretty good on the weekly. We will address that. But there is a lot of things to be concerned about uh, in this upcoming week. One, we have been mentioning the banking collapse, right? Uh, we obviously know that the Fed is most likely going to be talking about the banking collapse. Uh, we will probably see a lot of volatility within the stocks as well. Um, and I do think that we will see some volatility within crypto from that. Now, currently, yes, we are focused on the Fed with the FOMC meeting coming up May 2nd and the 3rd um, this week. You know, this could also add a little bit of uh, volatility within the market. Usually what we do see with the FOMC meetings is either a pump into them or possibly even a sell off previously before them. Um, but May is typically bearish, in my opinion, uh, going all the way back to 2021 and even 2022. May was pretty bearish uh, during 2020. It was actually very bullish. Um, and I believe 2019 was uh, slightly bullish as well. But we will address that. We will look into it. Um, June is more important to me personally for the FOMC meeting, though, um, as that is with uh, the summary of economic projections. I think this week, mainly what we will be uh, seeing is the Fed's plan with uh, the banking collapse. Maybe they'll even tell everyone that their uh, banking, their bank accounts are still safe and secure, which we always hear them say. But for the most part, I still think that uh, this weekly and monthly candle close is pretty bullish for um, Bitcoin. I mean, as we do look currently right now at Bitcoin, um, this is what I've been looking at on the monthly. So we have regained the 236 monthly uh, FIB level of uh, the 236, which is $28,038. Um, we are currently trading on this and have been holding on to it as well. And uh, also, if you go to the weekly, you could see why this is also a very important area to look at. Uh, this has been a level that we held on to for some time back here um, until we did break out all the way up until like 31K exact almost. Um, currently though, we have been riding the exponential uh, moving averages, the EMAs, mainly the 10 uh, weekly EMA, which is 27.1K. Uh, now, what I'm focused on here is if we do lose um, 27 points, like 9K, or it's like mainly 28K, if you will, I'll just say 28K. If we lose that in a significant way uh, before the candle closed tonight, um, I am expecting to see that 25.3K down to about roughly, it could be like 24.7K to be tested, which I've been addressing for a little bit of time, which will also, if you go back to the monthly and actually look at the macro. So this is why I say like 24.7K uh, will most likely get retested down here. This is the um, currently 50 monthly EMA. If we go back in time, uh, we have seen retests and wicks below the 50 uh, monthly EMA during March of 2020. We've seen it uh, during all the way back in 2018. We've seen this as well. Uh, previous to that, again, during uh, 2015, uh, we've seen it get tested quite a bit and uh, hold on to the 50 monthly EMA. So if we do get a test lower from um, our level currently speaking right now, I'm looking at that level to hold and possibly even get tapped, which currently speaking from our current price action, this would be about a 17.54% drop. Um, on the contrary, though, if we are very bullish right now and if we are going to hold on to the 10 monthly or uh, the 20 monthly EMA, sorry, at about 27.8K, uh, then we will probably get a retest of that 382 up there. If we do get a retest of the 382, that is going to be very big uh, for Bitcoin as this is actually a 20% increase to the upside. Now, a lot of you are probably wondering, Nick, what do you actually expect to happen uh, in the short term? So in the short term, as you do look at the four hour volume is coming in, 
um, but we need to hold on to so far what I've uh, I've been looking at is the 24 hour EMA at about roughly 29.2 K for this to continue to be pretty bullish. We did squeeze between the EMAs as we were kind of losing it a little bit and then we got that squeeze to the upside uh, which is causing the price action right now. The issue and the main problem that I see right now currently on uh, Bitcoin is it's going to be a little bit of a battle to get back to where we were at um, and Ultimately speaking, every single time that we have retested 30K, we have rejected off of it in a, a very big way. Even going back here, where we were trying to break out, boom, major rejection. And by the way, on the three day, we have tested around uh, the 27.3, almost 27.4K region um, and held on to it so far, which has been a big area going all the way back to March uh, 20th. So currently, I'm watching Bitcoin. It still looks very good. Uh, volume is still increasing, which is very good as well. Um, and mainly what I'm focused on is just us holding these uh, crucial levels, because if we do lose them, then yes, I am expecting 24.7K, 25.3K, anywhere within that region. Um, and you can see it even here on the three day span uh, where we did wick all the way back in the beginning of March on the initial announcements of the banks collapsing before we gain momentum. Now, a lot of people are going to most likely say, Nick, I don't want to watch Bitcoin. I don't want to hear about Bitcoin. The problem with that is the fact that Bitcoin is extremely important for your altcoins right now, because currently, as we do look at Bitcoin dominance, I believe that Bitcoin is still going to go on a major rally here soon to 40K. Uh, to me, I think it is inevitable. I believe that we will see anywhere between, you know, 42K to about 48K. 48.5K uh, would be the biggest area for us to actually watch for. Um, now, at this point, it's either are we going to continue higher or are we going to reject and retest anywhere between, you know, 42.2K to about 36K if we go all the way up to 48.6K. Now, if we only go to 42.2K, then I will expect a 36 thousand dollar bitcoin retest um, in the short term when we do see that but during this time i'm watching bitcoin dominance because i believe that bitcoin dominance is going to continue to about 52 percent this is going to be a big area because again at this point you know all the way back you know to the uh the 2019 april um lows like this would be around like 52 percent which i'm watching for and I've also been looking at the weekly uh, 200 EMA at around like 51.43%. If we do get this, yes, all coins in the meantime will most likely get a backseat. Um, they will take the backseat. And what we will see is from here, Bitcoin go on a nice little run. And while Bitcoin is running, we'll probably see Bitcoin dominance turn around and start to come back down to um, our big levels. So the big levels of demand are down here at around like roughly 39.66%. I've seen people calling for much lower than that. So new lows on Bitcoin dominance, which definitely could be seen. Um, but this is very important and I've talked about it because as we look at Bitcoin dominance and the cycle of it, when we see Bitcoin dominance increasing, as Bitcoin increases, alts usually decrease. But if Bitcoin dominance is increasing as Bitcoin decreases, then altcoins are going to dump pretty quick. Um, what I'm mainly looking at, and for anyone out there that is looking at altcoins right now, like XRP or Casper or whatever, uh, you probably want the fourth scenario where Bitcoin dominance is decreasing as Bitcoin is increasing, which is causing alts to increase pretty quick which yes, we could see that. So far, we have seen all coins increase uh, drastically. And that is because of this sideways momentum that Bitcoin has been on for a little bit of time until it does gain a lot of strength. Very similar to what we've seen um, during even like November, right? During this time, there was a few altcoins that were dead, but there was also a few altcoins that were, were jumping out in, in price. It all depends on how strong your your uh, altcoin Bitcoin pair actually is. I've been focused on XRP on the weekly and even on the monthly. On the weekly, this thing looks very good. It has been riding the trend for a while. Um, it has retested a perfect level, aka 43 um, cents. Around like 43 cents is a big level to me personally. I think that this is actually going to be the area at which um, XRP actually holds quite a bit. If we do lose this, then yes, I do get concerned and I look for a lot lower price action around like 36 cents and possibly even down to about 34 cents. Um, but so far, we have kind of flipped this resistance level from January into support now, uh, which is very good. But what I want to see on XRP on the weekly 
is us flip the 200 weekly EMA at around 50 cents, um, kind of build a floor here and then continue much higher. In fact, if you actually look at the Bitcoin uh, chart, it's actually a very similar uh, thing that we're seeing, except the problem is, is that instead of uh, XRP doing this price move from April 10th that Bitcoin did, we did the opposite. As you do see, we were riding the uh, weekly 200 EMA, and then all of a sudden, this is when Bitcoin started to push up in value, and then we seen XRP actually come down and retest. Now, so far, we have regained some big EMAs, uh, which currently is the 50 and also the 10. Um, what I would like to see is a squeeze here for us to push the upside but this could change drastically depending on what Bitcoin does next. And I have been looking at the XRP Bitcoin price chart as well. This thing has been flatlined for so long. I mean, we have not traded above the 200 weekly EMA on the XRP Bitcoin price chart since going all the way back to uh, 2019. And this wasn't even strong. The last strong move above the 200 weekly EMA was actually going all the way back to December of 2017 when we went on that push to the all time high. So that's what I'm looking at on XRP on the macro is when we do regain that 200 weekly EMA. And when we do see that, it's going to be very big for XRP. Now, yes, in the short term, you know, I'm not expecting us to break above the 200 weekly EMA. And in fact, I'm actually not expecting XRP to be very strong against Bitcoin anytime soon until Bitcoin actually does, um, you know, have that major run up and have Bitcoin dominance kind of take the back seat and start to fall while alts kind of take over, which is very similar to the structure that we see almost every single time when the market uh, cycle runs, where we have Bitcoin being the main spotlight, Ethereum's next, and then it's the large caps, the mid caps, and then the micro caps. So, so far currently, yes, today is a very big day. I'm watching Bitcoin's price action very closely. What I personally would like to see is us actually break out of this high recently, which is roughly 31K, almost exact. Um, that's what I'm watching for on Bitcoin. On XRP, again, like altcoins, I'm really not focused too much on altcoins. Uh, what I would like to see is a lot more volume in on XRP. Volume has been pretty flat so far since we did kind of get that breakout um, back in the end of March. Volume has been uh, pretty, uh, I would say, just sidelined. Uh, there's really not a lot of, uh, of volume into XRP right now, but I think that that's mainly because people are chasing meme coins or maybe they're putting it into Bitcoin, whatever. But I've also been looking at the monthly on, uh, on XRP. Now, the monthly is a little bit of a different story. Obviously, yes, we are still holding on to that nice level. Um, I think that this actually looks pretty good depending on what happens next. Could we see something where uh, it's very similar to like the February of 2021 price action? Sure, but I'm not expecting a big breakout in the market for a lot of altcoins just yet. Uh, so I'm still watching this. I'm still waiting to see if we can get a big breakout um, against resistance, which would be around like 54 cents. That way we can possibly try getting a major break of the structure above all EMAs and possibly go and retest that 81 cent to like 85 cents, which I've been talking about for a little bit of time. That's where I personally feel very confident where we will uh, lead to next on the run up, which I think is like the, the 618, which is like right around 84 cents. So that's what I'm looking at right now. Um, like I said, this is going to be a very big week for us. I mean, this is a huge day for uh, crypto, but ultimately this is going to be a very important week uh, in terms of finance and economics. The Fed meeting definitely is going to be one for us to listen into and uh, see what happens. I know for a fact that they, they will discuss that banking collapse. Uh, whatever comes from that will most likely change the trajectory of the market. We have to wait and see what happens. Um, but for the most part, I'm still expecting this year to be very bullish. So as we do look in the short term, I'm buying major dips when we do see major dips. I've been accumulating a lot of altcoins currently. And as we do look at like XRP, I'm still watching to see if XRP is going to retest some nice lows and uh, retest some nice support zones. But for the most part, I think that this looks great. We have flipped major resistance into support so far, and we are kind of building a floor up, which is uh, lovely to see. But I'm waiting. I'm waiting patiently on a few altcoins uh, before taking heavy positions. XRP, obviously, I haven't really sold much of XRP at all. Um, I'm still waiting on some major price action with XRP. If, and if anything, I actually have a bag of XRP that I will never sell. Um, so I'm still looking at the market. It's still watching a few things. I know that we were seeing Casper and HBAR breaking out a little bit, which was uh, very exciting to see. But um, yeah, I'm very excited to see what happens going into the rest of May. Um, again, I think that 2023 is going to be a big year for us. So with all of that in mind, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, and notifications on if you guys have more free content. 
You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. Uh, this is up to you all. Have a beautiful day or a beautiful night. Wherever you guys are on this beautiful world. This has been Nick. Peace out, guys.